Hi all, welcome back to RKG Technology. So this video will discuss about public and private edition rise with SAP. So let's start. Uh, this video uh, basically uh, intended for those who have basic understanding of rise and wish to understand a detailed difference between private and public edition okay let's uh, start so uh, before knowing the difference you have to know the basic cloud methodologies so if i will talk about the sap s4 hana cloud private editions with the private cloud edition services are maintained on a private network and protected by a firewall we can build a private cloud within our own data center or use one of the last cloud last means logging as a service cloud like aws azure gcp alibaba any any uh, cloud you can choose Private clouds offer the most security and control. Private editions are single tenant environment where the provider runs our services in a dedicated environment. Rise with SAP S4 HANA Cloud Private Edition and SAP S4 HANA Cloud Extended Edition is offered as private cloud solution. But you have to note that SAP S4 HANA Cloud Extended Edition provides additional capabilities for customers that require a specific functionality, broader extension, and deeper configuration capabilities in a dedicated cloud environment. Whereas, if we'll talk about cloud public editions, Services are delivered to customer over a network that is open for private use. Sorry, that is open for public use. Public cloud offer efficiency and affordability and are often multi-tenant, meaning the provider runs your services in a shared environment. Rise with SAP S4 HANA cloud is offered as a public cloud solution this is the basic difference uh, on cloud private edition and public edition let's talk about uh, other difference so uh, if we'll say that how we will decide or customer will decide which cloud he have to move so it depend on the customer need basically if we'll talk about the private edition so if existing sap erp customer who has the desire to move the cloud and does not want to complete not want a complete process redesign and who want to retain their current investment made to their existing sap erp let's say customer don't want any kind of changes they want their existing environment but they want to move on the cloud like uh, also also we can say the new customers who want a full extensive erp functionality including partner add-ons with the ability to extend and enhance as required can opt for private edition this is designed to provide innovation and cloud values while allowing the customer to retain their investment by converting their existing systems whereas if we'll talk about the other public edition if existing customer or new customer who has the desire to move to the cloud but he is ready to start with fresh or clean system by giving 
up all the existing investment that he made on any ERP solution and customer also open for a process redesign. If these are the things will met, then easily customer can go for public edition. Public edition is a choice for companies who are ready to embrace the future of ERP with a new implementation and predefined process. This is uh, the, the basic uh, difference we can say who and how customer can decide which cloud they have to move or which edition they have to go. Now we'll talk about other difference. So private editions, private edition is not a software as a service product from SAP. Okay, it's a logging as a service. But uh, we are in public edition, SAP S4 HANA Cloud is a complete modern software as a service ERP solution. If we'll take example, so you can you can see SAP Success Factor, SAP Field Glass, SAP Concord, SAP Ariba, they all are a modern software as a service ERP solution that provided by SAP in public edition. Now let's talk about implementation. So in private editions, you can do brownfield implementation, even you can do the greenfield implementation, even you can do the selective data transition. All, all the options are available. Whereas if we'll talk about the public edition, you can only do the greenfield implementation and uh, maybe for selective uh, data transmission or for a component that is also possible. Let's talk about some other difference. Okay, now we'll talk about the customization. So in private edition, customer has the capability to customize uh, including structural changes and modify the SAP source code. Customer has full visibility and control with access to the back end of the SAP through SAP GUI. Customer has full access to the on-premise extensibility framework supporting in-app and side-by-side -side extensions in addition to code enhancement and modification. Expert configuration is also possible in private edition using the full IMG access. And the operating expense model is subscription based. So these all are the customization. You can say the full customization according to the customer use they can do and they can modify the standard SAP codes. Whereas in public edition, customization are made through SAP Shari app, apps designed to facilitate the changes like customer, customer fields and logic, customer business objects, and there is no access for backend GUI. You cannot modify SAP source code. These are the restrictions in public edition for complex customizations that cannot be done through the existing Fiori apps. The SAP business solution technology platform extension suits are readily available and easily integrated to SAP S4 HANA cloud. Let's talk about uh, some other uh, differences. If we'll talk about life cycle stability, so it depend in private edition, it depend on the level. Uh, 
and type of modification that has been deviated from standard best practices. As I told you, you have the full access uh, on SAP and you can modify, fully modify the uh, standard IMG according to your use. But in public edition, uh, you cannot modify anything. It is stable actually. POC, TCO and ROI. Comparatively higher TCO in uh, private edition, but in public edition, TCO is lowest and ROI is highest. So if you don't know what is TCO and ROI, TCO is uh, total cost of ownership and ROI is return of investment. So in private edition, total cost of ownership is very high. Whereas in public edition, total cost of ownership is lowest actually and return of investment is higher. So if you will talk, we'll talk about the infrastructural provider. So in private edition, it depends actually as for HANA is deployed on any infrastructure provider. It, it depends on the customer choice. They can use any uh, cloud provider or any any uh, other cloud services and they can deploy as Fuhana. But in public edition, SAP is the default infrastructure provider for software as a solution like SAP as Fuhana cloud. Okay, let's talk about a release cycle. So in private editions, SAP S4 HANA Cloud Private Edition follows the annual base release of SAP S4 HANA on-premise. However, there is a requirement to install at least one upgrade every five years to st stay within mainstream maintenance. After an yearly base release, future pack stack are released quarterly with new non disruptive features until the next base release is launched. After a new release, the previous release version will receive support pack stack each quarter with only corrections until the end of mainstream maintenance. As, as you know that uh, it is simple basically, as for HANA, like you will talk about as for HANA. So as for HANA, uh, the base release will come, then SAP will release a uh, future pack stack. And if they want to do some kind of correction on future pack, maybe some kind of work, uh, uh, the bug fixing or something so they will uh, provide support pack stack okay so but in in uh, public edition there are two major release per year uh, and they will provide enhancement on existing functionality enhancement to a customer's existing scope are automatically installed by sap okay and uh, and also they will provide continuous continuous feature delivery update they will provide it monthly provides pre delivered of new features that sap makes available in the sap s4 hana cloud system but does not install this gives customer flexibility to decide if they want to switch any of these features if the feature is not switched on when delivered, it will be automatically installed by SAP in the next release. So these are the basic, or uh, we can see the, maze, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, main, main difference between public and private edition. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe.
for new videos thank you